Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Liz. So as you can see, today we are doing the Chinese takeout wings. I hope that everyone is having a good Saturday, by the way. So over here I have 10 whole wings. These are these have been washed and I have them lying skin side down so that they can dry. And I have them on paper towels and a piece of aluminum foil just to keep the chicken juice off the counter. Over here I have all of my ingredients that we need for this recipe. I have one egg, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We have a teaspoon of sesame oil, a tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of, um, a half teaspoon of sugar. This is one tablespoon of the Shaozin cooking wine. We have a fourth teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. We have one and a half teaspoons of regular salt. I use iodized sea salt. And then we have a fourth teaspoon of white pepper and about an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then we have a large bowl to mix everything in. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything into the bowl and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so now... We're at the process where we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put the chicken into the bowl. And again, this chicken has been washed and dried. Now, at this point, we're going to add all of our ingredients. So I'm going to go in with the egg. We're going to add everything except the flour and the cornstarch. Everything has to go in before the flour and the cornstarch. And I'll make sure that I um, list all of the ingredients in the description box. So that there's no confusion. So now we go in with our hands and we get everybody mixed up and that's why I have on gloves because I don't want my hands to be a whole entire mess you want to kind of make sure that you coat each wing and it's messy cooking is messy we know that cooking can get it's messy. Okay. So now these are pretty well mixed. Pretty good. Just want to make sure I break that egg down a little, a little better. So now I'm going to go in with the flour and the cornstarch. Now, this is going to look a little wet. What you can do if you feel that there's too much liquid once you're going to fry, you can actually add a little more cornstarch or flour. I usually add just a little more um, cornstarch instead of the flour. I like the cornstarch because the cornstarch dries it out more and makes it a little more crispy. Okay, so these are all mixed up. So let me go ahead and get these gloves off my hands. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this. And this is going to go into the refrigerator. These can marinate anywhere from two hours to overnight. I will probably do them 
these are probably going to be marinating about five hours, five or so today because I have some other stuff to do. So it'll give me time to get some things done and let these marinate before I cook them. But I'll be back to show you how I cook them in the finished product. Okay, you guys, so here the chicken has been marinating for about, I want to say it's been marinating about six to seven hours maybe closer to eight hours. So it's ready to be fried. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my oil heating and I will be right back. Okay, so here in the pot I have, I'm using a heavy bottom pot and I have oil in it up to about halfway up the side of the pot. I have my oil thermometer in it because you wanna make sure that your oil is at 325 before you start frying. Okay, so our oil is now heated to 325. So I'm going to go ahead and start dropping the wings in. I don't think it's, well, I think my thermometer might be <laughs> not working right because it's not reading right. I'm going to do these three at a time because these are really big. These are such big wings. I'm going to just do these in batches of three at a time. And I have 10 wings here, so I'm going to be doing them three at a time. And I will be back to show you the finished product. Now, oh, before I go, these are going to cook for six minutes. I'm going to take them out, move them over to my pan with my wire rack on it. And I'm going to let, and then I'm going to do each batch. And then I'm going to refry each batch for an additional five to six minutes. But I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, you guys, so here we are. Finished product. Homemade Chinese style fried takeout chicken wings. So I hope you guys try this recipe and I hope you enjoy it. So please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. Drop me a comment and let me know what you think. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.